welcome back to the show, guys. Well, we are chatting right now with a fantastic artist from the South Asian community here in Mississauga, and she's going to be having an event on Sunday, February 28th at the Mississauga Central Library, chatting with Mina Chopra. And before the break, I was asking you a bit about how your, your personal identity mm -hmm. and that really that journey to discover your, your new oh, identity, what yeah. you said your new identity, takes place in your work. Tell us a bit about that journey. Coming from India to Canada has been a fantastic ex experience, you know, for my inner growth. The change, uh, and the change always brings a lot of growth. Mm -hmm. For my creativity, it really played around. And I said, and, and, and four years I'm out with this book, which was, I started writing prolifically and my, in my native language, which was very surprising, I went back to my childhood and, of course, uh, Hindi was my mother tongue, mm -hmm. my first language. Mm -hmm. And uh, those words were resonating within me and I just couldn't stop. So the biggest advantage of this change was for my creativity. Mm. It just sparked something in you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So wonderful. Now we mentioned that you write poetry and you're also a painter we sh and a drawer. We showed some of your pieces before and you have, have had quite the success with your artwork as well. Uh, you mentioned to me during the break that a lot of your paintings are in embassies all over the world, in Indian embassies all over the world. Tell our viewers a little about that because it's really quite the astounding accomplishment. Well, Indian embassy has, even Air India, in fact the cover of uh, the Ignited Lines that is also being released second edition uh, on the 28th that is with uh, Air India. A uh, lot of government bodies have my paintings there mm. and a lot of hotels have some five star hotels have my paintings. Well what I thought so was so impressive again was the, the embassy, the Indian embassy in Great Britain also has mm -hmm. your work. Yes. In fact, they had hosted one of my exhibitions in 1996, and that's where the book release was also there. Now, mm -hmm. having your, your work, you know, really in so many fantastic locations across the world, do you find that your, your art um, helps to connect communities? Oh, yes. Art is, art is what that is, that is connecting the con communities always, because art is something, any creative activity for that matter, it touches your inner being. Mm -hmm. it's, it rises from your subconscious and unconscious level, which is streaming everywhere in the sense that every human being, every animal, anything which is life on the earth, that unconscious level is like a stream. So when we talk about art, we are talking about something which, which is at the base of ourself, mm -hmm. which is connecting everybody. And are, are, do you write stream of consciousness? Do you just let it kind of mm. flow? Or, or, or it's tough to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just flows. I mean, uh, and, and those moments I do not have control. Then I have to just write, you know. Mm -hmm. I have to just paint whatever. And of course, you are going to read right now something that has, you know, just mm -hmm. flowed from your mind. Uh, I actually took it from her. Oh, you, you have it. You're well, it. It, it. It is beautiful, isn't it? It is, it is. And she's going to grace us with this beautiful poem uh, right now. It's actually from the book that uh, it's called United Lines, and that's a second edition will be re released at this upcoming event as well. If you would please uh, yeah. read your poetry. It's called for Memories. Us. Memories. All the stars engulfed in silence, trying to grab the hands of futility. The day explodes. Whiteness spills the residues of the waning moon. Death of the night is still alive in the memories of space. Mm. Wow. See, is that okay. beautiful? It's All beautiful and it's also very, very, very deep and insightful. Um, tell us a bit about uh, how, uh, how you came about with this poem, how this poem came about. I was sitting and it just came. I also don't know. I think most of the time uh, you're not writing, something else is writing, you're not painting, something else is painting. Mm -hmm. S and, and later on you start saying that it's yours, but I really don't know whether it's yours. It comes from that unconscious which is flowing 
and which is there with everybody. This is very so interesting a, because I, I've, a lot of my friends who are artists themselves, they, they meditate before they create. Mm -hmm. And they say the same thing that you just mm -hmm. did, which is that it, it comes through you. They feel like they're a vessel for something else. Mm -hmm. What do you think is passing through you? Where do you think this creativity comes from? Same place unconscious and subconscious level mm. and that's how you know those symbols that we work on or the symbols that are coming out in fact you don't even know what's coming out and then it's at a later stage when you've done it you start seeing it you develop a, a communication with it and then uh, at a rational level or at uh, a the conscious level, I would say that your creativity starts coming to a conscious level. Mm. Now, as Deja mentioned, there are so many different ways, you know, that uh, on the subcontinent people learn to connect with that inner part of themselves, learn to meditate yeah. um, through yoga, um, mm -hmm. through, through meditation, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. through spiritual practice. Is there anything that you do to connect with that part of yourself? My art, poetry and art, and, and that's what is meditation for you, me. Mm. That's, 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 a, that's a kind of meditation yeah. and that naturally comes with most of the artists. See, mm. a, a true artist is at ease in, in those moments of creativity. I, however, sit in front of a blank canvas and it scares me to death because <laughs> I don't feel like I've channeled it well enough. What do you think of when you look at a black, uh, blank canvas? As you said, at times I, when I am scared and to I mean, bring the brush and just put something on it, something may go wrong but then you have to just overcome that fear mm -hmm. and you start doing it is that and, what you and, and it, it so many times you know you're very much excited also mm -hmm. to see that blank canvas and you want to do something so it could go um, either way really yeah, yeah. frightened or, or excited either way what do you hope folks take away from uh, you know when they hear one of your poems mm -hmm. or they, they see one of your paintings uh, or they read one of your, your books. What do you hope that they take away? Or do you, do you hope that they take away yeah, anything? Yeah, yeah. I, an I would enjoy, you know, if whatever I have enjoyed when I was writing, I, I, it's, it's important for me that if they could share maybe a little part of that moment that I have shared with that unity or that inner being mm -hmm. within me. So, and, and yes, if there is some honest expression that has come out from you, they would enjoy. Mm. Thank you so much, Mina, for joining us in studio today. Uh, of course, you can see Mina live in person, mm -hmm. glimpses of the setting sun, a multilingual poetry celebration, and of course, her book launch and art exhibition going on Sunday, February 28th at 2 p.m. at the Mississauga Central Library. We're going to put all that information up on the board right now, and we will be back with more daytime after the break.